All right, here we go. Lesson six, practice problems. Um, guy I'm going to talk about here is uh, Anthony Edwards. Um, he's a young shooting guard on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, just won Olympic gold in Paris. Um, this guy is exciting. He's so explosive. He's he's pretty raw. He's young. He's in his early twenties, but. Um, one of the more exciting players in the NBA to watch. Anyway, this is rookie card. Got this last year. Um, so yeah, Ant. That's his nickname. Can't wait to see what he accomplishes. Uh, once Steph Curry retires, I think I'm going to root for this guy as my primary uh, player to follow. I'm a big uh, fan of following players as opposed to teams, at least in the NBA. I uh, went from Jordan to Kobe to Steph, and uh, this guy could be the guy I go for after Steph. So anyway, super explosive, kind of has a style like Jordan. Um, needs to work on a couple things, but uh, really impressed with this dude so far. All right, here we go. Uh, lesson six practice problems. Which of the following constructions would help to construct a line passing through point C that is perpendicular to line AB? Okay. So, let's see here. Um, construct an equilateral triangle with one side AB. Um, potentially, uh, that looks like the perpendicular bisector construction. Not quite sure. Uh, construction of a hexagon with one side BC. Um, I don't think so. Uh, construction of a perpendicular bisector through C. Well, that's exactly what we need. So uh, constructing a line passing through point C that is perpendicular to AB. So if you did the perpendicular bisector uh, through C, um, you'd be good. Yeah, that's it. Okay, um, two. There's a gimme. Um, two distinct lines, L and M, are each perpendicular to the same line, N. E, 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 okay. Select all the true statements. So what that basically means is, um, I'll use this baseball card as a, uh, as a little trick here. So, say you had uh, a line here and you got a line here and you got a line here now I'm kind of cheating a little bit um, I know baseball card cases uh, are um, you have right angles in the corners so let's get this straight edge just extend these a little bit okay so Here's what they're basically saying. <clears throat> okay, so you've got uh, two distinct lines. Remember, lines um, extend forever in both directions. You can just do the arrows. But they're each perpendicular, so. So this line and this line, which we're gonna call L and M, are each perpendicular to the same line, this one, which we'll call N. Okay. So L and M are both perpendicular to N. So let's just select all the true statements. So by drawing that, I have something to organize my thoughts. So, okay, A, lines L, Claire, and M are perpendicular. Well, is that perpendicular to that? 
Nah. All right. The lines L and N are perpendicular. Hmm. Lines M and N are perpendicular. Hmm. Lines L and M are parallel. Remember, parallel lines, they never intersect. Okay, so is L and M, are those parallel lines? What about lines L and N? Are lines L and N, are they parallel? You tell me, lines M and N, so M and N, are they, uh, Parallel. I don't know. I mean, see these intersection points? Parallel means never intersect. Okay. If you're struggling to find something that you can use to draw a representation, you could either just use a ruler, um, use like the outer edges plus the other side, that would work. Um, box of colored pencils would work to create one line that is perpendicular to both lines in order to draw a representation. So say you don't have like a Anthony Edwards baseball card or basketball card, um, you could easily find some things like you could use this, see, two lines that are both perpendicular to one line. Easy, you could find so many books, make great options. Okay, number three. Here we go. This diagram, this one, is a straight edge and compass construction of the bisector of angle BAC. Now you may be like, wait, what's a bisector again? Well, that's this entire angle right here. Now when you're calling things by angles, you start like you make sure that the the actual angle is the middle letter. So like B A C. This is angle B A C. Because A is in the middle. Okay. So this diagram is a straight edge and compass construction of the bisector of this like red angle. Only angle B A C is given. Okay. So what they're saying is at the start of this, all you had were, um, I'll draw them again in red. Hopefully this helps out, that didn't really help. Give me a sec. So basically all you had was the angle as the starting point, which is, uh, pretty common on these problems. So just imagine all you had to start out were uh, these lines that I'm coloring in. All right, so all you had was, was these colored in lines, right? Okay. Explain the steps of the construction in order. All right. So what you need to do on this is you need to go to the um, angle bisector steps, which we are going to go over um, many, many times. But <clears throat> I'm going to create this thing. So let me just get a measurement on BAC real quick. And I'll just do it for you live, and you write down the steps I do. How about that? Looks like it's 40. Okay. So. It 
So to measure an angle, you put the line on the line, center on the center, make a little mark. All right, so here we go. Okay, so here is A. Okie doke, so watch me with this compass here. And I'll show you how this works. Okay, so just tell me what steps, write down the steps that I do as I go, okay? So I am creating what shape? What's the center? Notice I measured it first, the radius. Okay. So what have I done so far? Well, you were, you were given this angle, so you don't have to talk about this step. This was given to you. How do you describe what I just did to like a friend? I constructed what shape? What was the radius? What did I do? Then I marked them what? All right, so that was, that was like the first few steps. So you gotta like write these in order. Now look what I'm doing. perfect if I can as good as I can okay what am I doing right here creating what shape center was what radius was what so every time you talk about a circle, you got to talk about the radius and the center. There's your radius. There's your center. All right, let's do it again. What's your center on this one? And what's your radius? So I created two what? I should have kept going. I'm just finish it off here. Definitely need this point right here. Okay. So close enough. Alright. So then what am I doing? Marking the what? And I look at the figure, I'm like, all right, there's that and that. So I just go, like, just write down all the steps that I'm doing. If, I, if you lost me, just rewind it and start over. But you have to be able to communicate, like, the exact steps to somebody else. That should be it. Yeah, that's it. So we're essentially creating this, the angle bisector of B, A, uh, C, or B, A, D, either way, same, same thing. All right, there it is. Um, you have to be able to write the steps. So it'd be like one. Um, 
construct circle center A label B intersection point with angle BAC as B and D, right? Number three, construct circle. Don't forget your center. Don't forget your radius. Anyway, then there's a fourth step, then a fifth, then a sixth. So that's what you gotta do to, to get this one right. All right, that's a tough problem. Okay, here we go, number four. This diagram is a straight edge and compass construction of a line perpendicular to AB. So you got AB. This is the line perpendicular to AB passing through point C. Which segment, segment is point to point. So which segment has the same length or distance as segment EA? Well, look at EA. It's a special word for the circle with center A. What's the name of that word that goes from the center to the outer edge? Starts with an R. Ends with an S, right? Okay, so I'm looking for something that's also a blank <laughs> of really either one of these circles. And when I say these circles, I'm talking about center D, radius AD. That's that circle. And center A, radius AD. So any radii of this bigger circle and this bigger circle, this is the same size bigger circles, any radius is gonna be the same as EA because both circles share the same radius. So I just look real close. Is EC a radius? Is ED a radius? Is BE a radius? Remember radius from the center to the outside edge. Is BE, is that a center and an outside edge? It's one of the two. Let's look at B, D. B is inside. It's not on the outer edge. That's not a radius. Okay, so you got to find the one that's a radius. All right, number five. Uh, this diagram, this one, is a straight edge and compass construction. Which triangle is equilateral? Explain how you know. Now, on this one, which triangle is equilateral? They're clearly talking about either this shaded one or this shaded one. Now you might look at these two and know right away. Now, this is the uh, seed of life construction. We did in this in class. It all starts with the, uh, all the circles that have the same radius. So all these seven circles have the same radius. That's what you need to know. So all the seven circles have the same radius. That's the seed of life drawing that we did in class. So you know that all these circles are essentially the same size. Now you can look right away and you can identify, um, you either gotta say triangle 
v, z, w, or triangle uh, s, t, u. So it's either, it's in either or. So pick one. So pick one. Which one is equilateral? Equilateral, as you remember, um, sides are the same. Let's just keep it that simple. The angles are the same too, but we're looking for the the one that we can easily prove, which is the sides are the same. So which of these two are all the sides the same? Now, if you just say it's this one because the sides are the same, that's not good enough. You actually have to prove why the sides are the same. Remember, you gotta prove things. So why is this side the same as this side, which is the same as this side? Oh, well, you could either say they're all um, two radii, or one diameter. I've given you the answers. You just have to put it into uh, a solid, well-written sentence. So let me give you a sentence frame. Um, triangle blank is equilateral because all sides are the same. I know the sides are the same because blank blank. So you got to write out a full sentence. Anyway, but you pick the triangle and then give me your reasoning. Okay, here we go. In the construction, A is the center of one circle, okay? And B is the center of the other. Name the segments, remember point to point, in the diagram that have the same length as segment A, B. Now, um, same length as AB. Three of them, no, four of them are super easy. There's actually a fifth, which is kind of a trick question. But you got to name them. Now, if we're talking segments, you use two letters. So you would say segment blank blank. Segment. Two letters for each one of these. You tell me what they are. If you get the fifth, that'll be uh, impressive. But uh, I'll give you a hint. AB can also be called what? AB. AB can also be called. Cool. It gives you one of them. All right, that was six. Let's go to seven. Doing them all. I love that. Okay. This diagram is a straight edge and compass construction. A is the center of one circle. B is the center of the other. Name a pair of perpendicular line segments. Remember, point to point. Like a, B is a line segment. Point to point. But you need to name a pair. So that's two perpendicular line segments. So 
perpendicular. If you had like Q, R, and S, T, like this is an example. A pair of perpendicular line segments in my little drawing would be Q, R is perpendicular to S, T. Just to give you an idea of what I mean. So you got to find a pair, and that's a pair, right? So your statement should look something like this. But you got to do it for this one, not mine. Do it for this one. Easy. Okay. Now, next one. Name another pair of line segments. Remember, point to point with the same length. So you got to find any two segments that have the same length. That's a layup. Okay, you got that. Um, or if you were Anthony Edwards, that'd be a dunk over John Collins. Anyways, uh, number eight, A, B, and C are the centers of the three circles. There's one. That's A, center A. This is center B, and this is center C. Okay. Select all, so that's your hint. There's going to be more than one. The segments, you need to know what segments are. Remember, point to point, connected, that are congruent. There's the symbol for congruent. Congruent means uh, the same length in this instance. So you got to get all the ones that are congruent to A, B. Let's just look at one of them. H, F. Is that the same length as A, B? H, F. Let's look at H, A. Ha. Hmm. What do all the circles have in common? They all have the same what? Remember that R word? So you're looking for any of those R words is essentially what you're doing. Let me move on. AJ is one of them. All right. Uh, that's enough. Uh, Anthony Edwards, congratulations. You made my uh, math videos. I bet you're so excited. Um, Hope you posterize Luca this year, and, and I hope you win a title this year. You hit, you came so close last year. Um, all right, peace.